Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I got a request asking how to set up the XP Realistic plugin uh, for a helicopter, so I figured that I would just give a quick um, tutorial at least how um, I set it up myself. Uh, I can't say for sure that that'll work on any system, but at least it works on uh, the setup that I use. So basically what you want to do, obviously, is go to the plugins menu, go to the fly with Lua, go down to where it says the macros, and then click on XD Realistic Pro, and that's going to bring up this window. And then you're going to go to, um, obviously, Enable. For this case, I reset it so I could show you how to set it up for the Bell 412. And then, of course, you want to go down here. Uh, and you can really start with anything uh, because we're going to adjust a lot of the basic settings. So we can just leave it at default GA for now. And then you're going to click Customize. And that's going to drop down the full menu. And so you can leave that blank, the uh, activate reverse, the airframe wind. I like to turn that down to about 20%. The airport, airport atmosphere, you can leave that the same. Braking, cut that off. You can leave the cockpit atmosphere where it's at. The engine start, cut that off. The engine stop, cut that off. Engine operations, take that down to about 30%. Now here's where it gets important. The flaps drag, cut that off. Flap set, cut that off. Flap stress, cut that off. G-force effects, you can leave that at about 40. Gear drag, it's very important that that is cut off. Ground effect, you can leave that on if you want to. That's just going to give you a little bit of a uh, more pronounced sound in the uh, rotor wash once you get a little closer to the ground. Ground roll, you need to cut that off. All the ground roll. Heading anticipation. Now, I like to actually cut this up to about 50% for helicopters. Uh, the natural head, that's that's kind of, you know, it really doesn't make a difference to me. What that basically does is, you know, nobody is a robot. So as you're sitting in the cockpit, it'll sort of uh, induce a little bit of a sway in the viewpoint as if you were naturally, you know, moving your head around a little bit. So we'll leave that on. Uh, pitch anticipation, 50 is good for that. So basically what the anticipations are, uh, as, as the name suggests, as you're, you know, about to make um, any sort of an input to the controls, you're naturally going to anticipate that, and you're going to sort of brace and react to that, and so that's what it's trying to replicate, and it does a pretty decent job of that, actually. Uh, rain. I actually like the rain one setting because to me that reminds me the most of what it actually sounds like for rain to be hitting a helicopter since it's a pretty thin uh, skin you don't have a lot of insulation like in a larger aircraft but you don't want it at 50% you definitely want to cut that down to about 10% or less First thrust that needs to be turned off. Uh, the roll anticipation. Once again, I'm going to cut that up to about 40%. Rudder squeeze that needs to be cut off. Side prop that needs to be cut off. Speed brake needs to be off. Stall needs to be off. So does the extra sound. Taxi anticipation definitely needs to be off. Uh, throttle, cut that off because you're not going to have the same reaction that a prop aircraft would have to inputting throttle. 
touchdown cuts off, touchdown main cut off, turbulence cut off, and the wind you can set that pretty much however you want it, uh, whatever your preference is, you know, if it's too loud, cut it down, that sort of thing, and that's the last setting. Um, and that is basically how you set up any aircraft um, in XP Realistic. And for me particularly, that's just the way I like to set up the Bell 412. And pretty much all the helicopters follow that same general uh, settings. You know, I'll tweak some of them a little bit differently. But all the areas that I set to cut off, that's across the board with any helicopter. You definitely want to cut those off because they're not going to apply and they're going to get in the way and some of them will actually cause uh, some serious issues with the operation of the aircraft. So I think that pretty much uh, wraps that up. And then the master volume here is, uh, you know, you can set that where you want and that will change the volume of all the effects. Um, you know, across the board, so. Um, like I say, if you have any extra questions, I guess you can leave them in the comments, but uh, like I said, I get that request quite a bit, and I recently got one from a student, and so this was originally going to be the response to their question, but I decided to go ahead and put it on the public channel uh, because I figured it would be something everybody may benefit from. So, like I said, if you have extra questions or you don't understand something, Put it in the comment section. I'll try to address it. And uh, if you're curious, the uh, helicopter is actually setting at Alton Ryan, and that will be the next video to appear on the channel. Is I'm going to be flying this helicopter to uh, Zurich. So keep an eye out for that. So thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.